Well, in that six of Ricky Stenhouse, remember they talked about the fact that the car's been on the splitter. It's a four-tire change, also making a chassis Get adjustment up, to guys. help him with the splitter. He says he can't attack the corner the way he wants because the way the car's banging on that splitter. Having a little trouble there on the left side, guys. Well, what happened is Ricky drove around the car that was behind the box, uh, in the box behind him. He got on the brakes a little bit too hard. It looks like he slid a little closer to that wall than he wanted okay, to. Jack Penn had trouble. Back him up, back him up. Yeah, they got big problems. The bad pit stop. Now they have to back him up. Go, 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 go. Watch as Stenhouse approaches his stall. It's so Whatever difficult. Whatever you need here, come on. You pull in. You, you want to get stopped. You want to lock those tires up for your guys so they can see all five of those lug nuts. And he just slid a little farther than he wanted to. Now the crew's all out of rhythm, trying to go around the car. They don't have enough room to make the left side change. Hmm. Guys, keep an eye on the jack man. That's Jeremy Neely. There he is on the left uh, rear tire. Now he's grabbing the jack. Now when he runs around the front, watch him hop right here. When he came down, you can't see it there, but he fell and suffered a knee injury. You better look at it right here. Oh, oh. yeah, there, there's where the problem is. So that's what caused them such a delay to begin with. Uh, you mentioned, wow. Carl, him having wow. to come around the 40, and then when Jeremy Neely suffered that knee injury, that delayed them even further. They have taken him to the medical center for evaluation. Took Stenhouse from second place to 11th place from 2.6 seconds behind Austin Dillon to 23.7 behind. A lot of ground.